took us the entire uh, program to really figure out our business model and be able to talk about it in a way that got people excited. Uh, actually, I recently saw an early mentor that I hadn't seen since before I did this, and I ran into this person, and when I talked to him, like, wow, you sound like you actually know what you're talking about compared to a year ago. Like, I'm very impressed with how well you know your business. So after going through that, um, it gave us the tools to do it all over again when we pivoted. We were making LED lights, and then we realized, well, we could probably have a bigger impact with this idea of taking out the intelligence uh, of our lights and applying it so that every light on a set can work together, not just work with our lights. And in like the last two months, we've completely redone all of our paperwork. We've, you know, and I'm still harassing my mentors from the Clean Tech <laughs> Open to have them look at my pitch, give me notes, go back and forth, and like they've been awesome in the whole process. So, um, you know. It's one of those things where you really get out of it what you put into it, and my partner and I really put a lot into it, and you know got more out of it than we possibly could have imagined. Um, and we also got to uh, we were fortunate enough to get a little prize where we got to be here, and now we're gonna hopefully stay here, right, Pat? Maybe <laughs> we're working on it. Um, we gotta get green. We gotta get green. We gotta get green. Um, but. You know, and again, everyone in this whole process has been amazing. And um, yeah, I just want to say, do it. Just do it. Clean Tech Open tries to connect entrepreneurs with resources like talent and funding and mentorship and partners. And uh, Sealed, I'll just say before I tell you what we do, walked away from the Clean Tech Open. I know this because I was running the program at the time with uh, a potential corporate partner who we are now partnered with, National Grid, and with funding as a regional prize winner, and talent in the form of a former New York City Metro director, Dan Hoffman, and me. <laughs> <laughs> so, sealed one clean tech open in many ways. Uh, and Katie asked me to close things out, so I'll just say that I know from all angles now from having run the program and now joining one of the companies that participated in the program uh, that you cannot measure the number of ways that being a part of a community like this is valuable and you should all be involved in some way, whether you're an entrepreneur or a potential mentor or an investor a, and a volunteer, an intern, get involved, you won't regret it and uh, thank you for coming. So uh, we joined Clean Tech Open uh, well before we had a defined business model, we didn't know if we were going to sell to the consumer or to sell to the businesses. Uh, we were still figuring out where the value of our business would actually land. And uh, through Jay, uh, one of our mentors is here. Uh, we have a couple other fantastic mentors with the Clean Tech Open. Uh, we, we had some great guidance in figuring out how to hone that that value proposition and understand exactly where we were going to be able to break into this market with the best possible momentum to carry this product forward. And so with that, we worked on our pitch. We were able to work on how we actually get our first customers, what that go-to market looks like. And uh, not only did we have some fantastic support and, and a lot of momentum through the summer, uh, we actually were able to carry it all the way to the finals. We had a little bit of cash to take home as well. So, uh, thank you guys. Um, and uh, since then we've been able to, we've, we've, we've raised money from Bolt, a local VC that specializes in hardware products. Uh, Mass CDC has been a fantastic partner, we've raised money from them as well. Uh, we just crossed a thousand devices out in the field, so there are a thousand tanks out there. Woo! And uh, we are pushing into uh, our 2016 sales season where it's warm, uh, they don't the, the fuel suppliers are interested in actually doing work outside, so they're going to install a bunch of our <laughs> tanks right now. Uh, and uh, looking forward to a very bright future with uh, the backing and the support of our fantastic mentors, the Clean Tech Open Network that has continued to help us figure out how to do this, and uh, folks like the Mass CEC helping us move forward.